Hey everyone, and welcome back. And today we're going to be playing Stubbs the Zombie. Uh, this is a cute little game I used to play when I was a kid. Man, I still remember it, walking into uh, the Hastings and getting on one of those demo stations to play this game. Um, probably not the best thing for a kid to play, but it's a really cute little game, and I saw it on sale on the Steam store, and I thought, what a better chance to show all you than right now. Uh, so without further ado, we can just hop right into this, um, and just get started. Dateline, Pennsylvania, where one city has entered the 21st century 50 years ahead of schedule. Welcome to Punch Bowl, a city built for the space age. Here in Punch Bowl, experimental science and state-of-the-art technology create a futuristic paradise the likes of which have never been seen. This is a city unlike any other, free of crime, pollution, poverty, and other urban blights. Menial labor is a thing of the past, thanks to all the robots who keep Punch Bowl running like clockwork. People can't stop talking about it, and why should they? Punch Bowl is a model of good old American ingenuity, much of it developed by famed scientist Dr. Herman Y, now a naturalized American citizen working for the good guys. But who's funding this fantastic foray into futurism? Why, none other than billionaire playboy industrialist Andrew Monday. America's favorite rags to riches story is the visionary who's calling the shots in this town. At the grand opening ceremony this morning, the world's richest man had this to say. Here in Punch Bowl, for the first time in human history, life is what it was meant to be, free of all unpleasantness. Why, someday the entire world will be like Punch Bowl, but for now, it stands alone, a beacon of purity and human potential in a world of social upheaval and moral turpitude. Bold words from a bold man. But perhaps the only thing more unlikely than this orphan's rise to fame and fortune is the city he's built, where everyone is invited to drink their fill of the future, and no one has a care in the world. Ah, my goodness! Get your hands off my weenie! Good morning. Is everything okay? He stole my hot dog! Well, that wasn't very nice. Stealing isn't allowed in Punch Bowl. You'll have to give it back. If you'd like something to eat, I can show you one of Punch Bowl's many fine dining establishments. Yeah, go eat something else, jerk. Go on, get out of here. He stole my hot dog. A classic weenie joke. And here we are in Punch Bowl. And right now, this guy is on a really weird date with a girl trying to eat a hot dog, so we got to show him a lesson. Oh, oh, my goodness! Oh, my! Looks like he's having some kind of brain seizure. We'd better find some way of relieving the pressure in his head. Uh, well, I don't mind if I do. My brain! I just see someone... Wow, you someone sure calm him down. Brain? He's not even twitching anymore. Mm. Oh, silly me. I haven't even introduced myself. I'm a guide bot, here to provide any information you might need during your stay in our fair city. Would you like the full tour? Oh, come on. I can tell by the look on your face. You're gonna love Punch Bowl. Follow me. We've got so much to see. Hmm. I've got a whole data tape filled with 640 kilobytes of fun facts about Punch Bowl. It'll take us a few hours to get through the whole thing. Why don't we just walk around a bit? You get around pretty well for someone with a gaping hole in his stomach. Yeah. If you like, we can visit Punchbowl General Hospital and have that looked at. Oh, but there's so <laughs> much to see first. Come along. I like how concerned she is for my health. Very kind of her. There seems to be some kind of commotion down the street. Never a dull moment in Punchbowl. Let's go have a look. <laughs> don't mind me. Just walking through. Good morning, officers. Be quiet, Guidebot. All right, buddy. You're coming with us. But, officer, we just started the tour. The tour's over. We don't want a sick bum in an ugly tie walking around on opening day stinking up the place. Nor do we actually want to touch that guy. Ugh. Exactly. 
So we're just gonna stand here nice and quiet, and you are gonna get in the back of the squad car, and we'll all be happy. Well, I won't be happy. We're waiting. Tap, tap, tap. <laughs> I guess you don't have any choice. Let's not make this any harder than it needs to be. I just love the voice acting in this game. It's so you hey! funny. <laughs> um... What the? If you listen carefully, especially... Oh, wait, hold on. Freeze! Don't move! You're surrounded! What is it? Oh, I see. You've got gas. I'll just head over here for a minute while you, uh... Relieve the pressure. All right, buddy, you're going just, downtown. Hey, hands where I can oh. see. And just go, like go, that, go, everyone's go, stunned. Go, go. But like I was saying, there's some really hilarious sound effects. Uh, oh, there's my buddy. Have you thought about changing your diet? You really should. Why me? Usually you'll hear like weird tongue flicking or all sorts of weird groans and moans. It's a whole ball of fun. I love this game. Oh, we'll never get anywhere unless you push those fellas out of the way. Walk up behind one of them. Now give him a gentle shove in the right direction. <laughs> Wonderful! Now we can continue the tour. <laughs> Why don't you call your new friends over? First, stand perfectly still and transfix them with your steely gaze. <laughs> now purse those kids and whistle. Well done! They're heading right over! Done and done. Yes, I am right here. Now, we still have a lot to see, and I don't want you collapsing of exhaustion before the tour ends. So if you feel tired or winded or in agonizing pain because someone just ran up and slugged you for no reason... What a bitch. Then what a feel bitch. free to take a few seconds to relax and recuperate. You'll feel much better after a few deep breaths. All right? Excellent! I'll be over by the gate when you're ready to tour the green. <laughs> Usually I would go clear out the rest of the plaza of people, but I'll kind of not waste anyone's time and just head on. It's not like it would make a difference anyway in the story. And then right around now, there would be a really gross green film over the game, but thankfully, uh, that has been fixed. And we have, I think it's called Monday Vision, but yeah, now we just run rampant and start eating people left and right. So we can assemble an army of the undead. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Love the voice lines. And there's a greaser. Oh, and the cops are shooting. You asked for it. But yeah, this was, I honestly say, back in the golden age of gaming. Um, I don't remember the last time there was a zombie game like this. Oh, come here. But this is a gold one, for sure. Oh my gosh. Side strafe, side strafe, side strafe. Jump! Pouncing, pouncing zombie. Outstanding. Slowly assembling a little army of zombies here. Nice. <laughs> and my buddies will clean up the rest of the civilians. But now we're going to head over to that train over there and go wreak havoc on the rest of the city. Oh, they're shooting. Side strafe, side strafe. Zig, zag, zig, zag. Oh, they're shooting each other too. Nice. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And jumping zombie. Nice. Done and done. And as we can see down there, eating brains refills our uh, little special abilities to the right there. But yeah, there's City Hall. 
we definitely won't be coming back here for the end of the game at all. And there's more coppers to deal with. <laughs> Man, so many memories from playing this. Um, I remember playing this on the hardest difficulty as a kid back in the day and just having the hardest time of my life. These cops have some hardcore aimbot if you're not careful. It's a delicate maneuver developing the zig and zag. But that was one of the main ways I survived, I say, as I get shot. And also using your zombies as meat shields. Lovely. <laughs> Need to make a quick getaway? The punch ball monorail is the best way to get around the city. Welcome to the Fertile Crescent Biome, where the grass is always greener. Today at the world's most advanced greenhouse, meet me, Maggie Monday. Some folks go for is everything satisfactory, Miss Monday? Yes, Sonny. Uh, sure you don't need anything? A, a cold drink? Uh, no. A cigarette? No. Foot massage? Oh, I'm... what? No, nothing. No, never mind. You're a nice man, Mr. Skegness, but don't you have better things to do than make passes at your employer's mother? I'm just doing my job, Miss Monday. Andrew asked me to look after you, and I'm going to make sure uh, nothing unseemly happens on this uh, wonderful... Uh, Sunny. Fabulous. Sunny. Huge. Eyes up here. Day. Ah! Ah! Better come with me, Miss Monday. This doesn't look like a safe place for you. Perhaps we can go back to my place. Nice try, Mr. Skegness! Uh -oh. And thank goodness that this zombie is somewhat intelligent. I can use tools. But yeah, this is one of my least favorite parts of the game. Mostly because, oh, it's so so easy to get lost in here. And as a kid, oh, I'd spend hours in here sometimes since I was just a dumb kid not knowing how to navigate this maze. But thankfully, being the expert gamer that I am, just go where the enemies are. And it's also not that hard if you're just not dumb. But uh, these little areas in there, that's where we go. We just have to unlock them one by one. There's one all the way on the other side of the map. But the, uh, the early like period aesthetics, so awesome. Um, honestly, I don't think that's ever been done in an actual zombie game before. Well, besides Black Ops, really. But aesthetics like this are just so fun to play with. Especially the... Oh, flip the vehicle. Especially the male acapella and the, the groovy edges on everything. It's a lot of fun. Oh my gosh. And awfully noisy sometimes. Yeesh. And here's the little headquarters for the cops. Yikes! And we just need to slowly open up these Whoa, checkpoints so we can fire. move on and progress. Ah! Oh, and those robots. Man, whenever you piss them off, they're so hard to kill. A zombie! Right there! Uh, 
Yes, it is a zombie, good sir. Come on. You want some? There goes your arm. Do the spider zombie maneuver. I see one of them. Sit down. Usually takes three hits before they kind of get to a eat brain state. Oh, they are just dropping my zombie dudes. You gotta go. One of them lost his legs. No! No! Wow. My zombies are a lot more useless than I remember. It's chewing my brain! Okay, there we go. Spread the love. Okay, and as we can see, a new area opens up. We can just go on through. Man, this reminds me of Overlord for some reason. That's such a good movie um, about this World War II group of people that messing with Nazis, of course, um, and like one gets a virus and like lives. I don't know. It's been like a while since I've seen it, but it's actually a really good film. 360. Direct. It's weird the cops are in a greenhouse too. I don't, I don't really get that. Especially a giant greenhouse like this. Oh my god. No. Mm. Whip that thing around, Shorty. Come on. Nice. Just launching them 20,000 miles in the sky with a glob of fertilizer. this to myself. Let's see how you like this. Well, that obviously didn't work. Hold on, stay right there. Let me just uh Alright, cool. Nice, 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 nice. Now we should be able to go back to that original area we were in. Nope, that was the start. Just cruising through this greenhouse. It's so weird that this was considered like the future back in the day. And this game wasn't even that old. I had very high hopes. <laughs> yeah, we have not come this far at all. Alrighty. Do the old stub walk. Also, a zombie in love. Also, another unique thing about this game, I feel. I don't remember any zombie game that has remotely done that. Also, uh, just because some people might not, uh, it, it may not be the most obvious thing in the game. Uh, you might be wondering why Skegness and his, his men are dressed up like a barbershop quartet. Uh, the reason is that Skegness and so on, they are, uh, Skegness is the head of Monday's internal security team. And Monday doesn't Let really want to walk around with the goon squad all the time mode. looking like the Secret Service. He feels that gives the wrong image. So he has them in uh, incognito, in disguise. And as you can tell by looking at these six foot six, 250 pounds of solid muscle guys, that works out I really well. Because uh, most barbershop quartets are pretty buff. That's true, true. And uh, they, they, they can, in fact, carry a mean Rain tune. Thinking. Uh, unlike many steroid abusers, uh, they can, <laughs> they can they can sing like angels. Indeed. That's actually uh, new. I've never come across that before. Uh, I guess they added some stuff to this or something. But wow, there's just cute little uh, cute little bits of documentary and all sorts of commentary. That's cool. Hopefully we can find a few more of those. I'm interested to see what the designers have talked about at this game. But that was a pleasant treat. Um, 
Anyway, yeah. Super unique, I feel. Zombie falling in love. Super <laughs> out of the ordinary. Why, hello there! It's me, Guidebot! Remember me from the plaza? Are you sure that hole in your side doesn't bother you? Because it bothers me, I can see all those internal organs slurping around in there. Oh my gosh, he, he just shot his friend in the head. Wasn't uh, that your pancreas? Oh no, well, suit yourself. And now we have volatile stomach grenades, which is actually to be expected from zombies. Uh, you gotta watch out for those. But the cop just straight up turned to the left or to the right and shot his friend right in the face with a revolver. Um, a lot of new things happening in this game since I've last played. Look out! Ah! There's something inside my brain. Yes, sir. There I is. I see one of them. Sit down. Go! 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 But the most effective special ability in our arsenal is that stomach grenades, so I will be using it quite a bit. Come on, lads, this way. Yeet! I'm surprised that it can kill all of them. Yeet! What if I get scared? It's chewing my brain! We continue on, my beautiful green no! army. No! I'm like super on the lookout for more like commentary stuff now. That was super cool. And I've been in that room like several times too. Excuse me, excuse me. Move out of the way. Reminds me of that Fallout video. Greetings! <laughs> Fix it, but at your service. That's what I say. Of that uh, Fallout video where the dogs blocking the doorway. And <sighs> these zombies do get like that sometimes. Just remember to kick the fucker. Is that holy crap? Yes, sir. I'll show you. <sighs> Stop hitting me! It's the OG. Oh, zig, 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 zag, zig, zag, zig, zag. What the? Oh! Oh, my brain! Gosh, she's freaking scientist. I'll show you hard science. Ow! Ow! Don't eat him. I want to eat him. Inside my brain. Oh, we are quickly getting out, Robert. Ah, not anymore, you don't. Sorry, Jimbo. Oh, sorry, Bob. You're killing me. <laughs> yes, I am killing you. Get back here, you bastard. There's one of those undead I'm bringing you in. Out the taser. Oh, come here. This! I was wearing such lovely shoes! <laughs> Not anymore. I'll show you what for! Oh my gosh. Stop eating me! Get back! Spit that out, damn it! Nice. Wow, that man's missing his head. More commentary. What is that? A hippo? In the uh, second half of this level, um, we also introduce one of Stubbs' most powerful abilities, and that's his gut grenade. Uh, the story behind the gut grenade is that, you know, while Stubbs doesn't have guns or lasers or anything at his own uh, disposal, it was important for us to be able to give Stubbs some attack to attach, attack these uh, ranged enemies. So he pulls out one of his festering wounds and chucks it at one of the great, one of the great things about uh, Stubbs, the the thing that reanimated Stubbs, the process by which he became a zombie, is that it actually allows him to regrow certain portions of his anatomy that might disappear over the course of 
your unaverage zombie adventure, like a hand or an internal organ. Okay, cool, cool. More designer comments here. Oh, they're running away. Come back here. Get your own woman. This one's taken. That's <laughs> weird. No, nothing back here. Okay. Guessing all my zombies disappeared? Maybe. Oh, that's a shame. Cat soaks. Pay attention. Oh, I'm coming for you. Swiggity swiggity. <laughs> Look! There's one! <laughs> oh my gosh. Ow. Eat lead, you undead scumbag! Yeah, just come over here, why don't you? I see a zombie. Ah! Nice. I'm bringing you in! This isn't funny! Uh, that's a big oofta. Got him. It's chewing my brain! Oh, there. Oh, wow, that's a lot of cops. Oh my gosh, it's a firing line. You're not dead. Jeez. Not the throat, gonna die. He just ate my brain. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Ow. Well, most of our zombies are ripped in half now, unfortunately, so not very mobile. Oh, there's a zombie in that tube. How cute. He's making his father proud. Got him. A zombie! Right? I'm bringing you in. Oh, you my brain! Lovely. Do what I want. I'll spit it out. Go, 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 go. Spitters are quitters. Stub swallows. Uh, no. Another scientist. No. More to the I'll army. Ow. This isn't funny. Got him. Oh, absolutely beautiful. Anything broken? That's the other uh, major character that we introduce at the very end of this level is Otis Monday. Uh, Otis actually has a, a sort of an epic conspiracy theory which we couldn't divulge. We, we couldn't get around to the whole thing in the course of the game, but the you'll hear bits and pieces of it. Is the breakdown of and, social uh, this level is actually the first part where you get to hear a little of what makes Otis so special. And he only gets more special as the game goes on. Yeah, I think we set up a lot of nice carrots with this level. We say, hey, here's a lot of the people who are involved that maybe you didn't see in the, the intro cinematic. And uh, you're definitely guaranteed to see them all again before the game is through. Oh, he's trying to speak. Zombie's first words. What's that? You're Got him. Killing me. He just ate my brain! Yep, man, I got you too. Sit down! Stop eating me! And that should be a wrap for this level. Shake that thing. Got to make sure we look at the souvenirs and just, just fuck it. Get out of there. Well, Galdang, the dead walk. Oh, mighty voices in my head. I'll never doubt you again. The commies have infiltrated this country so completely that even the dead have turned against us. Well, the Quaker State Irregulars ain't go without a fight. <laughs> Good 
morning, Pumper. Kill her up? Yeah, but make it snappy. We're in the middle of a zombie holocaust. Okie dokie, one tank of extra leaded coming right up. I'm not sure I have enough cash to cover Oh, never you mind, sir. It's on the house. Oh, there's no need for that. Oh, it's my pleasure, officers. My pleasure. Hey, want me to look under the hood? No, I need to use the restroom. Oh, it's uh, around the back. Yeah, go ahead. I'll try to keep from eloping with the car. Boy, you know, it's a good thing you stopped by, officer. There's been a bit of lawlessness this afternoon. <laughs> Tell me about it. Strangest thing, this gentleman, a very ill one by the look of it. Wait a minute. Green skin, festering wound in his guts, ugly tie. I'm never going to get used to seeing that. Huh. Ain't that a kick in the head. The way they drive the narrative in this game is just so absurd. One minute we're out on the town, just eating people, killing people, and then the next we're at a police station after watching a robot have sex with a car. It's the little things, honestly. Comedic genius. But, uh, in police stations, you know... The only way out is with the dance battle, and we know that. It's the only way to get out of jail is the dance battle. So I'm uh, Alan Turner, and I'm a designer here at White Load. Um, we're here to talk about the level that we lovingly know as the police station. Um, it's interesting because it's one of the very first levels that we got functional for the game, and from it, a lot of the other um, basic gameplays that got enhanced throughout the rest of the game came out of this, out of this level. Everything that you are expected to know how to do, you pretty much are, are learning it by this level in the game. Yep, this is Patrick Curry, I'm the lead designer, and uh, like Alan said, everything except for the head, in terms of abilities, you have by now. And uh, like Alan said, it was the first one that we ever did, so we were kind of learning as we went with the police station, figuring out, hey, how is Stubbs gonna work? How are the enemies going to work? How are the zombies going to work? Uh, how's this crazy hand thing going to work? And so we, we tried to uh, make a level that was conducive to teaching that to the player and, uh, you know, still being fun. Right, right. And uh, what's also interesting about that is that the first thing that was really working in this level in terms of gameplay was the hand in the detention area. It started out as a, as a paper project where we were moving upwards from the first floor um, to the detention area and then to the, uh, the dance battle and wound up working at it from the middle outwards. So the uh, detention level got, and that whole hand bit um, got done. And originally it was only one path, right? Um, you went and got one of the lieutenants right. and walked you know, this long, arduous, very boring path. And uh, over time, that whole process got more and more convoluted and became one of, the more, one of my more favorite portions of the game. There's so many different ways to pull that off that, uh, you know, you, you can go through it and do it and play it differently each time. Yeah, one of the reasons that the police station ended up being one of the first levels that I'd done is the the first game that we ever took screenshots from, or first level that we ever took screenshots of, it was the first level that we ever showed to the press. Uh, we showed it behind closed doors on a press tour, and then we showed an enhanced version of it at, uh, at the Game Developer Conference. And it's good, you know, you always need a level um, to, to figure things out, and doing a level that's kind of in the middle of the game uh, is handy because you don't have to teach the player every little thing by then. Um, 
but you want it to kind of feel like, hey, it's the middle of the game and the player's having fun and this is working. It's not too easy, it's right. not too hard. Right. It's, it's all about getting that core, <clears throat> that core functionality right. working, as opposed to working first on the first level or the last level, because those two levels are always going to be the exceptions to the rule and not the rule themselves. And this, this, this level does a pretty good job of, of being the rule. Hmm. Some interesting designer talk there. Oh, that's a, a little long. That was a waste. I'll show you what for. Oh, he shot his friend in the face. Got him. Brains. That's holy crap. Ow. Got him. No! Oh, nice he save. Me ten bucks. I'm I don't think that says cola. I'm not sure. Do all these doors open? Oh, not all of them. Someone's in agony, it sounds like. I'll show you what for. This isn't her funny. Ah, oh, he killed my zombie. This is a chief reminding you that all the ruckus outside doesn't give you an excuse to slack off on your calisthenics. A healthy cop is a happy cop. I'm happy. Are you happy? And if you're not, why not? Get happy. Get healthy. Masters out. What a motivating leader. Inspire. <sighs> Yeah, this uh, cop level is quite a long one, too. Um, all the levels are quite interesting, but this one is probably the most, I would say, art tedious one. Whoa! Mainly because they, you have to, like, climb levels and Stop choking me. all that stuff, but the ending is well worth it. I really enjoy the ending. It's so absurd, uh, especially with the... Uh, the inevitable dance battle that we will have to partake in. All that dark Why? Sit down. Ah, the locker room. Hey, stop choking me! What? Stop eating me! Sorry, sir. No can do. It is your time. What a beautiful boy. I got a wife and kids! <laughs> His buddy just watched that happen. I've got a wife and kids! Jeez, a lot of, yeah, I know. A lot of you seem to have wife and kids. It's gonna be okay, don't worry. Holy crap! I'm bringing you. Go, 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 go! Nice. Keeping you safe, Punchbowl Police. Sure. This is the chief. We have a cold red situation. There is a zombie in the police station. Repeat, zombie in the police station. I'd like to encourage you all to shoot first and ask no questions whatsoever. Oh. He's taking a swig of water. Oh, that guy's alive. It's sometimes hard to tell which one's the zombie and which one's not with dark lighting. Brains. <laughs> Was he just talking to his... To his buddy who just got turned into a zombie saying Clicker should be a zombie. Okay. Is this the way we came from? There's, there's enemies. Could have sworn we came from here. <laughs> there's one of those funny little sound bites. My brain! Die! Die! Wow. Die! This area has become 
quite the bloody mess. But it's usually three hits, come on. Well, that's just asking for a grenade. Oh my gosh. Uh-oh. Listen up, you brain-eating cretin. Your little cannibal joyride is over. My men are cleaning the rest of the zombie filth off the streets. And as for you, I'm gonna fix your wagon personally. Dr. Y is on his way over right now, but I'll be dancing on your grave long before he arrives. I wonder if there'll be anything left for him to dissect. We can't let those thugs destroy such a fascinating and potentially useful specimen. Not to worry, old chap. We'll do it ourselves. Where's the bone saw? I thought you had it. Nice. And here is the hand. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, I think this will be a good place to stop for now. Um... Hopefully you enjoyed the first episode, and I'm planning on wrapping this up pretty, pretty quick. It's a nice, cute, short game, but yeah, I'll go ahead and end here, and we'll continue on later. Thank you everyone for watching, and I hope you have a good day.